What's up you guys, Shortimus Prime here doing another P.O. Box Pickups video. Hey, what do you think of my fleece sweater, huh? Thanks, Abuelita. Yeah, my Abuelita gave this to me for my birthday. And uh, my wife, the lovely Charlotte One, gave me a GoPro Hero camera for my birthday as well, which I had already used. I had done some footage at the Ceremony Toy Show. I'm, I may post some stuff up from there, uh, but I already worked on a video of me drumming with the GoPro on. So I bought the chesty piece. And I have it, it's kind of a funny name, right? Chesty. Anyway, uh, I had that on, and then I had a camera from above, and then a camera from right over there. So I'm playing along to this song Buddy Rich played on called Groovin' Hard. So if you want to see me drumming some jazzy tunes, you know, go ahead and check that out. Link in the description below on the Shardimus Wank channel. And then the other thing I wanted to say was uh, another Patreon, uh, another Patreon plug, I guess. But I'm also uh, posting another Patreon video up today as well. I actually owe you guys two this week, so because I didn't get one up last week. I actually recorded it and then lost it. And it was a rant video too, so I have to make that one up. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But the video I'm posting today for the patrons is a um, little behind the scenes on my editing stuff. So, uh, yeah, if you guys want to be a patron, please do so and uh, check the link below. Also, um, I already announced that I'm not going to be doing a bad month for Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Um, I was going to keep that to patrons only to keep, you know, to help... Uh, you know, bring more people into the Patreon account. But what I was thinking of doing too was maybe like if, like if I got a certain number of patrons added to the account, then I'll make it public for everybody. But for right now, I'll just keep it only to patrons. Uh, either way, it's not like I'm withholding any content from anybody because it's all clips that you guys can see in my reviews. It's just the convenience of having them compiled all into one video. So I was thinking like if I get like, uh, like, like if I get like like a fifty dollar like fifty dollars worth more of patrons or something like that I don't know yeah like fifty dollars worth more patrons um, then maybe I'll do it because you think about it like what say you want to be a jerk about it and say I'm only worth minimum wage so like ten dollars an hour I spent way more than five hours working on those stop motion things so that's what I'm thinking okay well maybe if I do yeah so maybe fifty bucks if it goes up fifty bucks from now then I'll make it public for everybody. If not, then it'll only be for patrons. And the patrons will still get the, the weekly rant time videos or behind the scene videos. On to the packages! I've got this really cool package over here that I cannot wait to open, by the way. I'm going to save it for last. This is from Matthew. But wow, look at that. That is so cool. An Iron Man, Mark VI Iron Man. That is awesome. That, that, is, that is just too badass. Mark VI Iron Man. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and look at these letters first, and then we'll open that up in a second. This is from... It doesn't actually say... Oh, okay. Singapore. All right. I think I, I, think I know who it is. My friend from Singapore. And it says... Hey, Shardimus! This is Thuta from Singapore. How's it going, Thuta? Uh, it has been ages since... I last wrote to you, uh, indeed time flies so fast, now I'm in my senior year and the finals are just two months away, after that I'll finally graduate from my high school and embark my college journey. Make no mistake, I never fail to watch your reviews and videos, been watching them and will continue to watch them until the end of time! I started my carousel account not so long ago, been selling unwanted figures, the main objective of my carousel account is to hunt for the figures that I couldn't find in the store, subsequently I found the figures that I was looking for, my collection has been growing ever since. Just recently, I came across this Facebook page called Marvel Collectors Singapore. Wow, that's cool. Uh, basically, it is a community where we sell, buy figures, help the fellow collectors find their wanted figures. You can say it's our own ACBA group. Uh, if you guys are posing figures and you're following the guidelines, yes. Um, I thought I was this little weird-ass teenager who spends his allowance on toys. In Singapore, you don't normally do that. Guess what? I was so wrong! From that Facebook page, there are hardcore Marvel Legends collectors. That's awesome, dude. Uh, when I mean hardcore, I mean like hardcore. Life devoted, overly committed, will stop at nothing until they have fulfilled their identity as collectors. I've seen photos of their collection, and I think theirs are even bigger than yours. It's possible it happens. There are people that have bigger Marvel, Legend, Mar bigger Marvel Legends collectors than I do. Um... Some, some even have their own dork room and many shelves, just like you do. We have our annual action figures photo shoot, just like ACBA. Finally, I found a place where I can express my passion for action figures freely without getting judged. I just wanted to reiterate, uh, thank you for inspiring me to collect action figures since you started the channel in 2008. You play a huge part in my collection. I feel that, just, uh, I feel that my collection is 
my little achievement in life, you know? You just look at your shelf, post uh, every figure in your way, and you just feel that sense of pride and accomplishment. I feel that way whenever I look at my figures. Is it is it weird that I've grown affection towards figures over the years? Anyway, thanks for taking the time to read my letter. Until next time, Russ. Thank you so much, Thuta. Um, the, your question about the affection towards figures, uh, yeah, man, I have figures that have have really high sentimental value to me, you know what I mean? But a lot of it's do either connected to people or uh, connected to how much time I spent looking for the thing or how much I wanted it. Like, uh, for instance, um, the superposable 18-inch Spider-Man. I really wanted that figure a lot because Book Nice 10 and I had the pleasure of visiting the sculptor's studio over in Brooklyn. And I'd always wanted that figure, but after meeting Dave Cortez and hanging out with him, he's such a cool dude. It, it was, it was kind of scary because we even watched some of my videos with him there. And there's parts where you could see me kind of dogging his work a little bit on just a little parts, you know what I mean? And he's sitting right in front of me watching the video. I'm like, oh, 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 oh. But he's totally cool. And he's like, I could see that, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. You know, I'm like, oh, wow. So that was the very first person I actually ever, uh, very first sculptor I watched watch my video. And on top of that, he's my favorite sculptor. So that was pretty cool. So, yeah, sentimental value through that uh, for that one is through the roof. And, uh, and then just a bunch of other things that, you know, figures I've gotten from friends and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um... Thank you for so much for the letter. I'm very happy to see that there's a community out there in Singapore for this stuff. It's it's growing, man. Uh, I'm playing at the Skyline College Big Band. Uh, dude wearing Star Wars shirt over here. Uh, another dude's got like a like a Dragon Ball Z backpack. See an R2D2 backpack over here. So it's like I'm old, but well, not old, old. But you know, compared to all you know, a lot of people in college and stuff. You know, I'm older than I see so much younger people are into it now. More and more people are getting into it. Actually, no, the guy with the with the Star Wars shirt looked like he may have been older than me. So, it's of all ages. I just think people are just a lot more forward about it now. Anyway, uh, this is from uh, Malaki, uh, Malaki from New Jersey. I'm going to cover your address. And we got some nice shard art right there. we got Batman. we got the Shardimus. Looking really nice. Got to show that off. And... Uh, can I open this the wrong way? Alright, open, 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 open. Yeah, so, yeah, just P.O. Box pickup today. I want to do my Bruce Banner review today, but I'll save it for tomorrow. And then the, uh, and then I'll, I'll, and then I'll have to post my Mark 7 Iron Man review next week. Which is good timing, I think, because Age of Ultron comes out on Blu-ray! Oh, I'm gonna put that on non-stop. I cannot wait, and I'm gonna pause so many times. Oh, I cannot wait for that one. Oh, we get a little spider in here. Nice. I have a funny relationship with spiders because I've been getting a little bit more spiders in, in the garage where I where I practice my drumming. So I had one crawl out of my ear. Well, I had my headphones on. There's a spider in my headphones and I felt tickling in my ear. I'm like, what the hell? And I take my headphones off and a spider crawls out of it. I'm like, Gah! I'm all drumming one time and then there's a spider running across my hi-hats. I'm like, okay. I live with spiders now. Okay. Anyway, it says here, Shardimus Prime. Dear Shardimus Prime, I am your number one fan. My name is Malaki Malakai. Oh, Malakai. Malakai, uh, you help me with tough times. And when I was sad, you picked me up. Anyway, I sorry, I'm very happy to do that, by the way. Anyway, and you guys do the same thing for me sometimes. I just don't always talk about it, but you guys do do it. Anyway, I started to collect after I watched your Dorkroom review, and I must say you're the best action figure reviewer out on YouTube. Thank you. I think so, too. Uh, <laughs> that's so messed up to say out loud, but I really think so. Challenge me, bitch. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I, think, I think there's other YouTubers that do things better than I do, of course, you know, and I learn from other reviewers also. So, anyway, uh, I have three questions in, is that okay? Yes, three is actually what I ask. No more than three. Number one, uh, which SH figure arts figure should I get? Age of Ultron Captain America or Civil War Iron Man Mark 45? <sighs> if you're going to only get one, bro, I love the Mark 45 armor, but, uh, yeah, the Captain America... Get the Captain America. You, you will not. You, you won't stop playing with that figure. You just won't. Uh, actually, when I was prepping my review for the Mark 45, I found myself. Uh, I wanted to pose the two of them, and then I found myself posing and playing with the Captain America again. So yeah, the Cap. Uh, can you sign a paper that is in the envelope and send it back, please? Yeah, sure. I could do. Uh, yeah, you don't. Okay. 
I, 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 I'll, I'll try to remember to do that. If I don't, forgive me, but I'll try to remember to. It's a little harder if you guys don't send return envelopes for me because, yeah, so Nick, if you guys want that kind of thing, it's better to send a return envelope, but I'll try to remember to do it. But damn it, I'm so busy, dude. Uh, do you play with your figures? I don't go pew pew, bang bang, you know, like that with them. I pose my figures. That's me playing with them. And then, P.S., I have a Joker and Iron Man AOU, AOU, AOU short art, my address, and then he puts his address. Thanks for your reviews. Right on, man. All right, check out his Iron Man. Thank you so much, Malachi. And then Iron Man, the Armored Avenger, looking really dope. And it's in pencil. It's a little easier for these to come out if you uh, do them in pencil, and then you trace them with pen. That'll come out a lot cleaner for the video camera, but looks very good. A lot of details in there. And then we have the little, oh wait, and then we have the Joker, which fell over. <laughs> we, got the, we got the new Joker right over there. And this one has the pen and everything, and that looks great. Good stuff, man. I don't know how I feel about this particular Joker. I can't say I'm happy about it at all. <laughs> I, I, I can't, man. That, that's like the Joker with ha-ha-ha tattooed on himself, bro. I haven't really talked about it much, but... I was kind of hoping that would sink in and I would feel cooler about it, but I'm just not liking that. Uh, we'll see. I did not like, uh, I really didn't like what I saw from Heath Ledger before I saw Dark Knight, so it's hard for me to say, but the more I see that, it's like, I mean, really good artwork and everything, but the, the concept of it behind it, you know what I mean? It says, Toys are hella sick on the back of this letter right here. This is from Christian from San Jose, California. Very close by, only about 45 minutes away. Alright, let's open on this one up, and it says, Dear Shardimus Prime, my name is Christian, I have been watching your channel for, oh, this is dated August 25th, wow, okay, that's how behind I am in doing these. Um, it says, my name is Christian, I have been watching your channel for a year, you have got me through some hard times. Dude, that's crazy, a lot of you guys saying, I, I help you guys through the hard times and stuff, that really does mean a lot to me, that's, that's super cool. Um, well, I guess it makes a lot of sense because with like the geekier stuff, a lot of people don't relate to it, so having somebody else to relate to, but it really does mean a lot to hear that. Um, I'm happy to do so. Anyway, uh, it says here, so far I've been trying to start my own collection, but my little brother always wants to play with my Marvel Legends, so it's kind of hard to have a collection. But this letter has to be short because I have to go. But here are some questions in the back. Sorry about the sloppy drawing. Spidey 2099 symbol, which came out looking really Dope. And then, oh my god, my, my battery's about to die on me. Shoot. Okay, number one, Marvel or DC? Marvel. Two, who's your favorite Spidey? Who's my uh, Peter Parker Spider-Man? Blue and red. Uh, three, who is your favorite Batman? Oh, who's my favorite Spidey? Uh, uh, well, I like uh, I like the Tobey Maguire Parker, and then I like the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. So, but I don't like the Andrew Garfield Parker at all. Uh, three, who is your favorite Batman? My favorite... Um, b -b 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 Kevin Conroy. And uh, in four, uh, what do you think of Tom Holland, Holland as Spider-Man? Uh, he looks like he could be a Peter Parker, so uh, I can't argue with that. He said his favorite Spidey is twenty ninety nine. Let's see if I can open this packaging before the camera dies. Oh, it, is it going to die on me? Yeah, it's going to die on me. Alright, let's open this up as fast as I can, and I just think this is just a really cool looking package. Alright, come on battery. Hang in there, battery. Let's see if we can open it up. Uh, if it dies, please, you guys, send your artwork and letters to Shardimus Prime, P.O. Box 384, Pacifica, California, 94044. And I do. Ooh, nice shard art. Oh, we have a lot of cool things in here, man. Oh, what? Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Dude, movie version Shardimus Prime? Damn. And alt mode and regular Shardimus Prime. Oh, dude, this is so sick. G1, oh man, I absolutely love this. This is so badass. Okay, I gotta read this, and there's more stuff in here too. Ooh, I think I actually have this comic still. But thank you regardless. Keep the reviews going. Awesome job. Spidey365. I do have this one. But thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's try to get to the letter really quick before this camera dies. If it dies, I'm sorry, bro. Okay, it says, Dear Shardimus Prime, I recently came across your YouTube channel and I am so glad I did. Man, I have been so shy, discouraged about collecting toys and figures. have had like zero support from friends and some family. It really sucks as a guy with anxiety and depression. It didn't help that I couldn't do something I love, collect figures, without security. 
without scrutiny, sorry, uh, you gave me confidence to restart my collecting in a way you rekindled my love for toys. Sincerely, Matthew, right on. P.S. Dude, thank you so much for the YouTube videos. You get me through the days I get down. I wish I could support the Patreon account. I plan on doing so. Also, I noticed your robot mode doesn't have a vehicle mode. I drew up some concepts. I hope you like them. The vehicle mode, well, you got the vehicle mode. Yeah, I haven't really done it before. And Matthew, thank you, thank you so much. I absolutely love both of these. This is just so awesome. Yeah, the vehicle mode is a sanitation vehicle, but it looks like, yeah, you nailed it right there. Yeah, that's the alt mode. Oh, man, this is so cool. The movie version, though, too, man. Ah, that is so sick. That is so badass. Oh, I'm so stoked off of these. That is super cool. Damn, man. Ah, shit. That just made my day right there. That is so awesome. Matthew, thank you so much. All right, I'm glad I got this into the video. That, dude, you rule. Um, this piece, of, oh, I think this cardboard right here is just, you know, to keep everything secure. Thank you so much, man. This is beautiful. 